first impression of Telluride. It has a lot of character. It's adorable. Yeah, it's a really cute little town. It's kind of like an old, kind of historic, like mining town kind of feel. Yeah, it's kind of high in elevation, 8,500 feet in elevation. So it's a little bit hard to walk, but man, that's the background. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Good morning from very wintry and snowy Snowmass Village. So we went to bed last night, no snow on the ground, and woke up this morning, opened the blinds. We're very surprised to see all the snow. Look at how much snow it is on the top of a car. Probably a good eight inches, eight to nine inches of snow accumulated on the top of the car. Obviously the, the ground was still warming up for it's not sticking to the ground, but it's crazy. But anyway, we are getting packed up obviously in the car and heading over to Telluride. And it's about a four hour, 15 minute drive over there to Telluride. But from what we've seen or heard, Telluride should be one of the most scenic spots in this whole area. Uh, we really like Bale, uh, Aspen, so as, not as much. Um, so we're hoping Telluride will be even better and we'll have four nights there. So yeah, looking forward to it. And let's see what Melissa thinks. <laughs> what do you think, Melissa? It's freaking snowing. We got like six to eight inches of snow, which is just crazy because we didn't, the weather didn't even say it was going to snow. If the weather couldn't, I don't know, like, if it's going to snow, great, but how did the weatherman miss eight inches of snow? It's beautiful! Go go back that way, show them that. I mean, look look at this. It's like, when you say winter wonderland, yeah. it's definitely winter wonderland. Like, and you're Elsa. No, I'm not Elsa. Oh my god. And then like, there's kids having a snow fight. Having snowball fights up there in the background. So cool. And I didn't show you guys, but look at how much snow has accumulated on top of the car here. It's crazy. And I actually had to use this towel because obviously we're from Texas. We're not used to this crazy weather. So yeah, we had to, I had to use this to wipe down all the, the sides in the front because obviously there was like six inches of snow in the, on the windshield too. So we'll see how, how well this, this car does in the snow. Volvo obviously is born in Sweden where this is the normal weather conditions. So we're hoping our car does really well in these types of conditions. So, but it's amazingly beautiful here right now. Yesterday, the whole slopes back here, the ski slopes, this is Snowmass um, Resort back here. You couldn't see any of the, really any of the, the trails and stuff, but now you can definitely make out the trails in the background. Super cool. All right, you ready to get going? Yeah, can you tell the viewers what you said about Volvo previously? And now it sounds like you're changing your tune. Oh, uh, I think I told Melissa that buying a Volvo is kind of like, I, I think I use the terms giving up. And now, what do you think? But okay, let me explain that though. I think my <laughs> statement on giving up was I thought Volvo's like soccer mom cars, but I have changed my opinion. It's super nice, isn't it? I have drastically changed my opinion. <laughs> I like it a lot now. Do you like it better than the Tesla? Yes, it is much more comfortable than the Tesla. I like the way the Tesla drives because of that instant torque, instant acceleration. But beyond that, everything else about this car is better. Yeah. Are you Volvo for life? Um, I think we might be a two car brand household now. Melissa is going to be Volvo for life. And I might get a Tesla Roadster when that ever comes out. <laughs> Okay. Or a Porsche 911 Turbo. One I can of those get two. on board with that one. Okay. One of those is fine. All right. the Ice House Lodge and Suites here in Telluride. Gonna give you a room tour, it's amazing. Come on in. 
The really great thing about traveling during the off season, right now, Telluride just opened up a, a week ago. Uh, no, not even a week ago. Yeah, today's Tuesday, they opened up Friday. But yeah, so four days ago, and restaurants are only allowing dining at 25% capacity, patio only. Lodging is limited to like hotels and not Airbnb. The hotels are not allowing immediate check-in after someone checks out, like they have to allow 24 hours between a checkout and a check-in. So tonight we are the only people staying in this hotel. And so they upgraded us. We're staying for four nights. They upgraded us to this fabulous suite. So I'm gonna give you a tour. All right, when you walk in, there's a bathroom here. Full size, normal bathroom. We have living room, kitchenette, dining table, small patio, and it overlooks this little creek, and there's a walking path just on the other side of it. So we'll be able to walk outside and then be on a hiking trail. So here you see we have dishwasher, sink, range top, microwave, yep, microwave, fridge, oops, so it's the other way, good size fridge, big screen TV, and this is our bedroom, king size bed, a working desk, which is great because our other place did not have a good, a desk, it didn't have a desk. And then here we have another bathroom. The floors are heated. Really? Yes. Really? And there's a, a separate entrance as well. Yeah. So two entrances to a little suite here. The closet, there's there are two robes in here, a fan, a humidifier. Yeah, pretty much everything you need. Perfect. How did I do this time? You did great. The other one, not so good. This one, pretty in, good. No, in um, Outside of Veil, vale, where were we? Snowmass. Snowmass. Did, he did a terrible job. Terrible. All right. So we are hungry. We're going to go get something to eat. Telluride is small enough that you can just park your car and then walk everywhere. So that's what we're going to do. First impression of Telluride, it has a lot of character. Um, it's kind of, it's yeah, it's a really cute little town. It's kind of like an old kind of historic, like mining town kind of feel. Historic, like Western town. Yeah, it's kind of high in elevation, 8,500 feet in elevation. So it's a little bit hard to walk, but man, that's the background. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah, there's a bakery up there. Or we're kind of just walking a few blocks to a pizza place. They do have gluten-free pizza, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell we're breathing a little bit heavier. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're here for four days. Just gonna do some hiking. It's actually kind of chilly. It's like 39 degrees right now, but it feels good. It doesn't feel super cold. No, it's amazing. It like, feels great. It's kind of shining, but it feels cool. Most restaurants are just doing like patio only dining right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's a gorgeous day. Yeah. I can see why several people I know now have said that Telluride is one of their favorite places in the world. Yeah, and we've been here 15 minutes, it's literally. gorgeous, yeah. Okay, let's go eat and <laughs> continue exploring. So this is West Colorado Street, which is kind of main street here in Telluride. They have kind of cool shops and restaurants and stuff. It's actually bigger than I thought just looking on like Google Maps. It is. When you like look up Telluride, it looks like just one main street, but there are streets like behind it that have- Marijuana distill or uh, dispensary. <laughs> that have cute shops and restaurants as well. Kind of kind of feels like, uh, it kind of feels like Park City a little bit. Yeah. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Not so hilly, but Park City is pretty hilly. I didn't like Park City that much. Very cool. We're here at Caravan. It's a Middle Eastern slash Mediterranean uh, little food cart. And they have this patio. It's it's a patio seating only. So we're out here on the patio and we're just waiting for our food. But next door is a little coffee truck. That's super cute. I keep saying like this town is cute because it is. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect for COVID-19 social distancing, sitting outside. That they really were set up for us because they have just this little trailer. And that's where they cook from. What you buying? 
uh, stickers. <laughs> They definitely take mask wearing here a little bit more seriously than they do in Texas and in Houston, which is which is good. I mean, everybody is very compliant with the mask wearing. It's required inside all public spaces. So yeah, we're we're just kind of wearing our masks. Even you know, little kids are wearing masks. So I think it's just a, the new norm basically. We've just been walking around, and Melissa was saying, Telluride doesn't seem that touristy to be honest. I mean, it's obviously a winter and summer like resort location, resort town, but it has like local stuff too, like hardware stores, grocery, gyms, gyms. barbershop, yeah, all kinds of massage. stuff. Massage. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I like it a lot. So it is now Tuesday afternoon. I'm here in a completely different spot again. Uh, we've been moving around every few days or so, and we're actually here in Telluride right now. Uh, so we'll be spending four days here in Telluride. Obviously, Telluride has recently just opened, so they're still making people wear masks and things like that, which is which is you know very good. You know, I agree with that. It helps everybody to be safe. So we're now here in our kind of suite in this place called the Ice Hotel. We are the only guest yes. here at this uh, hotel for for today. So basically, we got the the nicest room or suite that they have. So over there, there's like a kitchen and everything like that. But what's nice about this space is a nice big table to work from. Melissa's over there doing her stuff for work as well. So, and I'm here doing my stuff for, for work. You know, the, the big part, you know, I think I've said this in, in prior vlogs to this business is solving problems. I won't bore you with all the, the in, you know, intricate details and I, I want to keep people's stuff kind of private. A lot of things have happened just, you know, recently, like it's still kind of going on, um, trying to solve problems um, on site issues that, you know, we have to address. Um, and that's part of part of this business, right? So always constantly trying to solve problems, coming up with solutions, being creative, especially now uh, with everything going on in the world with this COVID-19 situation. But anyway, so I'm doing a little bit of work here, kind of making sure all of our stuff is is right, uh, reviewing some payroll. I uh, have to submit payroll here in a day or two, so make sure everybody's uh, getting paid properly and everything. So that's still um, on my plate to do, it's to, to run payroll for everybody. I kind of taken that back from an accountant that we had. Just want to have a little bit more control over that to make sure everything is, is entirely correct on, on that because I, I think that's really important. But yeah, so that's kind of you know what we've been doing. Um, probably the the schedule is going to be you know we'll go do some hikes in the morning, come back here in the afternoon, have, probably have some lunch in town, and then do some work in the afternoon, and then um, have the the late afternoon and evening off. That's the nice thing about this business is I have the flexibility to be in a nice scenic location like Tide Ride, but still run run the business from from my laptop pretty much. And have a, if I have a cell phone, a laptop, internet connection, I'm all good to go. Oh, dear. Oh, three big ones. Where? Did I see the two? Right there. Oh, wow. We ate a little bit of dinner and now we've come up to the top of Mountain Village. So we drove the car up to the Mountain Village over here. It's about, uh, yeah, 15, 20 minute drive up here from down in Telluride up here. And now this is the view from behind. It is beautiful. It's almost sunset. Actually, it's probably already sunset. But yeah, just driving around is so beautiful up here. This Mountain Village up here is really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, the gondola isn't running and doesn't open until June 15th. Um, the day after we're gonna leave Telluride. So that just makes us have to come back when the gondola is running in the summer and also in the winter and everything like that. So that's pretty much, you know, our first full day here in Telluride. Super, super beautiful. Our first impressions. We just can't wait to spend, you know, the next few days here and go on some hikes and everything like that. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Beautiful, very easy hike. The only reason we're out of breath is because we're at elevation, but otherwise it's not strenuous. If you look back this way, you'll see these snow capped mountains. Yeah. The higher up you get, the more of a view you get. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's just a beautiful view the entire way.